Hello, Ashley here, and today we're featuring our Wahoo game board. Wahoo is part of our Nostalgia Games collection here at Sturbridge, and it's a game board that's proudly made here in the USA. Wahoo is a game that originated firstly in the Appalachian Hills region of the United States a long time ago, and this is actually a carved wood replica, as many of the games during that time were actually carved from wood. So, made from wood, features a crackle, distressed paint finish throughout, also a muted color palette, kind of adding to that antique feel. So you'll have a bit of nostalgia as you play the game, which we'll show you how to do in just a moment. I'm gonna turn it over quickly, and just point out a couple more things. On the back, we have a sawtooth hanger. So after you're done playing your game, you can actually hang it back up on the wall, and it proves to be a playful wall art display as well. Also is a printed instruction sheet attached right to the back, so no need to go searching for your instructions every time. They'll be right there where you need them. I flip it back over here. Also included is a wooden die and wooden multicolored playing pieces. And you can store those all in the muslin bag, which comes with it, with drawstring to be sure never to lose your pieces. All right, so now we will show you how to play the game. This game is for two to four players, and you can also play in teams. So once you've decided how many people are playing, you'll notice we have four blocks here, different colors, marking the base. The base is marked by a carved B. The object of the game is to get all four of your colored playing pieces to the home position, and the home is marked by an H, keeping it nice and easy for you. Now, to begin play, the first person to roll a six will go first, and then play will continue clockwise. There are only two ways to get your playing piece out of home base, and that is to roll a one or roll a six. If you are lucky enough to roll a six, you get two turns to move your place around the board. So, I have to keep rolling. Oh, and I've rolled a six. So I get to move six, four, five, six, and I get an extra turn. One, two, three, four, five. I want to slowly get my other pieces out of base, again, moving in this direction along the board. I can't take a quick shortcut this way, however. I need to go the other direction. Now there's a few shortcuts. If I landed here in one of these arrow positions, this allows me to play in the inner circle of the game board, moving along like this, back to home. A super shortcut would be if I roll a one while in the arrow position, I can jump to the center of the arrows and then be only one position away from home. A note, you have to get exact number to get into your home base. So that first one, you wanna make sure it gets all the way to the end, and then your other three pieces will fill in. Couple rules. If, for example, I'm playing with yellow here, and I would like to move one space, I've rolled a one, I can kick the yellow out, taking his spot and returning him to base. That is a nice strategy. If in that same situation, I roll a two, I can jump over the yellow piece. I cannot, however, jump or kick out my own playing pieces. And as play has continued around here for a little bit, we are nearing the end, and I want to point out to you some strategy that you're going to have to use. In this case, I have one playing piece away from home, and this looks really great because I can just move in like this. But this little guy over here, who I've had to move around the entire game board, is now going to be stuck because I cannot jump over my own playing pieces. So you're going to need to keep that in mind as far as how much you decide to move within your home to allow room for all pieces to be there. And that's how you play Wahoo.